everybody, it's Chris Eads, known online as Wu Teeny, here with another Gay Gamer video podcast. <clears throat> um, I actually was able to finish Amnesia before Spider-Man Miles Morales came out. Go me. Um, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to do it, but um, I did. Uh, it wasn't that long of a game, as it turns out, so that's fine. Um, also, I have to confess, I did consult a walkthrough uh, here and there. Uh, not to solve puzzles. Um, I solved those on my own. I figured out what to do, and that was yay. I felt very clever sometimes. Um, basically, it was, um, like, there was, like, this one area that's, like, super huge and, like, crazy to navigate, and it was all dark, and I was just, like, I, I was concerned that I might have missed a section that I needed, uh, and so I was missing an item that I would later need, and so I just would check the walkthrough to be like, okay, no, I'm good. Or when there's like multiple areas to explore, I'm like, well, what order should I do them in so that I don't have to keep backtracking because I don't have time for that, I've only got a few days. Um, and then uh, there was one time when the walkthrough came in exceptionally handy because right at the very end, I was just like, I don't know what to do. I am completely befuddled. And, um, it was like, oh, there's a trap door in the ceiling. And I'm just like, are you shitting me? <laughs> I would never have looked up. If I was playing this normally, I would never have finished it. Because I probably would have gotten so frustrated. Well, actually, no. I would have gotten so frustrated that I would have been wandering around everywhere and not being able to figure out what to do. I would have then consulted a walkthrough and it would have said trap door in the ceiling and I would have said, ugh. Here, I just did it right away because I was like, I don't have time to be wandering around trying to figure shit out. Um, but I finished it. It was very, very fun. Uh, scary as hell. Uh, it was scary. Uh, I would scream occasionally, annoying my husband, and, uh, it just made me very anxious and terrified and things go bump in the night and yikes. Um, but I was able to finish it. I got, I was surprised because I was like, why do I only have like 3% of the trophies? Um, that's weird. Uh, but then I realized that it's the Amnesia Collection. So the trophies are for the three games. I think it's two games and like one DLC mini game kind of thing. It's like a half a game or something. I don't know if it's a full game by itself, but whatever. There's like three parts to it. So I'm like, if I play all three parts, I'll probably get more trophies. Like I wouldn't get necessarily all of the trophies because there's stuff for like collecting all of the tinder boxes, and I'm sure I missed a couple. Um, and you can't double back, you know, to get them because once you exit an area of the castle, it's blocked off and you, you can't go back. You'd have to like reload a previous save. And that's not going to be, I'm not backtracking like that. Um, I also noticed that um, even the main story trophies for like finishing sections and the game, I noticed that they were like 3% ultra rare. Like they were, they were all rare, ultra rare or super rare, whatever. Like they were, no one had gotten those trophies. I'm like, this is what you get for just playing the game. And then I realized that it's because, the reason that I have it, is because it was a PlayStation Plus freebie at some point in the past. And, um, so everyone, you know, a whole ton of people will download it, and maybe they'll start playing it and go, I don't like this, and turn it off. Therefore, that mucks with the percentage, and then they count as people who played the game. So basically, like, 3% of the people who played this game finished it. <laughs> Which is sad, because it's actually a good game. I enjoyed it, and it was fine. I mean, I didn't pay for it, so yay, but, you know, that influences your opinion a little, but I still liked it. Um, and I did finish it by Wednesday, so that I could start Miles Morales. Um, the thing is, is that on Wednesday, uh, everyone was all excited. They're like, yay, I've pre-downloaded Spider-Man, I'm so excited to play it. And I'm sitting here going, I still haven't gotten a shipping notification from Best Buy. Uh, as you might recall from the previous episodes, I ordered through Best Buy because when I checked, they said that I would get it by release day. Otherwise, I would have gone with Amazon, but I'd rather get my points through Best Buy. So I was like, okay, we'll go with Best Buy. But then it wasn't shipping, and when I checked my status of my order on Wednesday, they were like, we'll ship it by release day. And I'm like, you said I'd get it on release day. Like, what? And... 
it turns out it was fine. I was like all annoyed, but it turns out it was fine because later on Wednesday, in the late afternoon, I got a shipping notification and they're like, yeah, you'll get it tomorrow, it's fine. And I was like, okay, good. Yay, I can play Spider-Man. Although I, I would not have minded if it had shipped Thursday and arrived on Friday because what turned out to happen was on Thursday, uh, Thursday afternoon, I got myself a kidney stone. So I was uh, in quite a bit of pain and almost had to go to the hospital. So I wasn't really in the mood to play video games. So, and it even arrived like at like 12.30. And I was like, damn it. Like, cause I was figuring it was gonna arrive at like eight, you know? That's how my packages usually arrive. Super late when I can't do anything with them when I'm super excited to get them. They arrive at eight o'clock at night. Uh, but it was there in the afternoon and I was like, I'm in excruciating pain so I'm not able to concentrate on a video game so this sucks. Later in the afternoon, uh, the pain subsided a little, and I said, let me try to distract myself from the pain instead of just laying here in pain. And, um, I played some Animal Crossing, and that was okay, so I decided I would start Spider-Man. And, um, I was okay for, like, the whole intro section, and then after watching some story stuff, and then it was like, okay, now you're Miles and you're playing properly, solo with all of New York City to explore, and it was like, you've leveled up, use your skill points to buy new skill, and I was just like, the pain was increasing again, and I was just like, I can't focus on that right now, and I had to turn it off, and I was just like, I can't do it, I can't do it. Um, thankfully, the pain did subside completely by the evening, so I was actually able to play for like an hour or so, and like, get into it, and then on Friday, I played like, a good chunk, like after work, I played for like three hours without realizing it, and then I'm like, oh, I should probably get some dinner. Um, and I played a good chunk again on Saturday, too, because this is the kind of game, I haven't played one of these in a while, because Tsushima didn't really do this for me, but I'm like, like, I start playing it, and then it's like, there's a street crime over here, there's a collectible over here, there's a rando thing over there, there's a photo op over here, there's a mission over here, like, there's just so much to do, and I'm just like, I want to do it all now, and, um, so I get sucked into it, like, really easily, um, and it's super fun, and I mean, the reason that I chose this game is because I wasn't sure how Assassin's Creed Valhalla was going to play, because it's not really Assassin's Creed, it's more of, like, a fighting, you know, it's more of an action game now, it's less of an Assassin game, and it's like, mm -hmm. um, so I was going to, like, wait and see what the reviews my friends said and whatever. But I knew that the Spider-Man Miles Morales was just going to be Spider-Man with a bunch of different characters this time. Uh, you were playing a new Spider-Man, and you're playing Miles Morales, and so it's just like, it's basically the same, but you've got, like, some new gadgets, and obviously there's new powers, because he has his, like, Venom Punch, is what they call it. He's all electrified, and he can camouflage, and... But, but basically you're still swinging around and punching and doing stuff. And it was funny, because in the beginning, I was supposed to fight a bunch of bad guys. And I kept trying to do things, and I'm like... Like, I think somewhere in my brain I remembered the controls from the previous Spider-Man game, and I kept trying to do things, and it wasn't happening. And I was like, I kept getting beat down, and I was like, what the hell? And after you finish that intro section, there's a section where you go to a rooftop where Peter has set up like a holographic combat simulator to teach you some combat moves. And that's where you learn like the basic combat moves with your webs and zapping people and jumping on them and getting their guns away and all that sort of stuff. And I was like, I think that's what I was trying to instinctively do in the earlier fight, but you couldn't do them because you hadn't learned those moves yet. So that's why I was having trouble, because I was doing things, and I'm like, nothing's happening. What's not happening? I don't understand why I can't fight, because I hadn't learned those moves yet. Uh, but then, you, you learn them right away, so then you're fine. But um, it's super fun. The story's good. Uh, the characters are really cool. I love Genki. He's adorable. Um, and Miles' mom looks too young, but whatever. Um, I'd vote for her. And... Um, it's, it's, it's a good story. There's, I mean, I'm only part of the way through it, um, but it's already interesting. I am a little concerned that the main map says that I'm 31% through the game, and I'm like, I've barely done, like, 
a handful of story missions, like, what the hey? Um, so that basically made me, like, slow down and do, like, side stuff, because I don't want to, like, rush through it. I know this is much shorter than the original Spider-Man game, because it's sort of like an expansion. It's not, it's, it's not a full game by itself, but, um, and I want to get as much enjoyment out of this as I can. Uh, also, it has an amazing photo mode that um, I'm really enjoying. Um, there's a lot of variety that you can do. Um, and one of the most interesting things is uh, it gives you additional light sources to play with, which I have not seen before in a photo mode. Usually what you can do is adjust the time of day or the position of the sun so that you can like change the lighting to get the lighting that you prefer on your scene. Um, but here, you can't change the sun, but like if you're backlit, you can add an additional, you can add up to three additional light sources. So I've only ever done one at a time. I haven't done like multiple lights yet. Um, but like there was one that I did where he's like swinging from the Empire State Building and he was backlit. So I added a fill light to the front just so you could see his costume details. Um, and then there was another one where it was a really cool, like, kind of a silhouette pose, perched, and I, like, added a little red light behind him just to highlight and give it a little bit of extra detail and a pop of color, as you were. Um, so that's really exciting. I do struggle with it uh, quite a bit. <laughs> the uh, maneuvering the light is... That's why I've only ever done one. I haven't tried to do three at a time, or even two, because just one is, excuse me, stop murdering that dog. Um, sorry. Just maneuvering one light around the scene to try to edge light or fill or whatever is like super awkward, and it, I, I do struggle with it. So, um, awkward. But um, the game itself is terrific. I'm very much enjoying it. Um, and uh, next week, I'm sure that's all I have to talk about, because that's all I'm going to be playing, because I'm obsessed with it right now. Uh, although, I do actually have another topic in mind for the next episode, so don't worry. It won't all be about Spider-Man. So, see you then. Come back and find out what it is. Bye! <laughs>